Hello everybody and welcome back to Cook Serve Delicious where um well what we're we gonna do we can maybe start actually buying some foods for our restaurants. Like I can buy corn dogs for example for like 500 and we can actually start serving those. Eight dollar holding station required entry. Oh, I see. So we make money off selling these. Ah. So corn dogs, also known as panchukas in Argentina and Pluto pop, Pluto pups, sorry, in Australia, are made by coating a hot dog in a thick layer of batter and impaling it on a stick. During a particular, oh, it's a battered sausage. Oh, on a stick. During a particularly radical phase in the 1980s, corn dogs became part of a carnival game known as Blister Dash where attendees battled to grab as many corn dogs from a deep fry with their bare hands as they could in 30 seconds. Oh my goodness. <gasps> the pain. As they could in 30 seconds. While initially popular, the game was eventually outlawed after a number of competitors who had lost complete function of their hands filed a joint lawsuit. One resulting condition of the lawsuit stated that carnival operators were required to sell corn dogs at all future events with proceeds going to the victim and their families. Today, Blister Dash is banned in most countries where corn dogs are sold. I really hope that's not true. <laughs> I really hope that's made up because that's horrible. Anyway, we are going to buy corn dogs. So that's going to be a starter for us because I find them quite easy to do. We did them at Max Wiener's and they were they were fine. What else have we got? We've got some soupy things. I find pretzels quite easy. Oh, we already have them. Okay. They were purchased already. Hot dog. Sorry, yeah. Uh, no, burgers. Bean burgers. Holding station optional. Tacos. Those grilled chickens are just annoying. I muck them up every time I make them. I didn't find the puddings too difficult. They were okay. Dessert shooters are miniature desserts traditionally served in shot glasses. Although the conceptual origin of dessert shooters is unknown, it is believed that dessert shooters were created by the United States government in the mid-90s as a response to the rising rates of obese and otherwise unhealthy American citizens. Well, if everyone's obese, why are you making them puddings? Seriously. As desserts are often high in calorie, sugar and fats, which uh, coincidentally are considered very delicious, Americans began eating larger and larger portions of desserts, leading to higher health risks nationwide. With limited knowledge of the reason for this sudden decline in health nationwide and even more limited knowledge of how to deal with it, the government determined that eating smaller portions of desserts would be significantly healthier than eating one large portion of equal nutritional value. Do you have any idea how stupid that is? Oh, I will just eat these three 100 calorie desserts instead of this one 300 calorie dessert and that will clearly not put any more weight on me. Okay. The plan failed at first but the popularity of dessert shooters couldn't be stopped and eventually were eaten three at a time instead of by the dozen. Leading to the government, sorry, leading the government to claim their efforts as a victory in the long run. But they're fairly easy to make and I don't mind doing them. So they will be on my menu. this tabule I think I'm gonna see if um, I've got enough stuff to make a menu of my own ah so apparently nowadays because I am a level three I have to do four different dishes at once which kind of sucks I don't know if I do have to. Well, I've got loads of different menu setups. Do we actually have enough food? So I've got corn dogs, cereal, Salisbury steak, and those things I just bought. Um, entrees can be mac and cheese, and I can do a soda fountain. Yeah, I've got just enough. I am serving people cereal, but 
I've got enough to do my restaurant. Okay, Salisbury steak could be the, the rubbish one though. I don't know how difficult that is to make. We shall see, I guess. Bonus objectives, earn a five times combo, two perfect days, a five delicious orders in a single day. I could probably do the five delicious orders and I could probably do the five times combo. Two perfect days is going to be a bit rubbish. Depends on the rush hours. Right, so we can do the corn dogs as a station. We can do macaroni in the station as well. Oops. There we are. I'll do another one of those once we serve this customer. So sea apple, bee cream, done. Corn dogs. Salisbury steak, so butter, steak. Now that has to cook. Right, so that's gonna be the, the hard one. Moose, sea apple, tiramisu, not too bad. Get some more macaroni on. Get some more macaroni on. Why is that not working? I keep not clicking on it twice. Cereal, so chocolate crisps and milk. That's not too bad. Salisbury steak is done. So Salisbury steak with gravy. That is not too bad at all either. That just needs to cook. I can handle this. It's always butter and steak to start with as well. So that makes it a bit easier. This is nice. I'm actually in my restaurant. I would like my restaurant to be a little bit more pretty though and people can eat the macaroni as they're waiting which is cool that one they need the steak and onion gravy oh that this is not too bad at all dry dog cheesecake bee cream it actually um makes you a little bit nervous when the music comes on like this so steak gravy Cereal, so fibre blast. Milk banana. Dry dog. Someone wants a drink. Let's start these Salisbury steaks going. We don't want to start them going at the same time because then I've got to try and make them at the same time. That's a dry dog. There's a rat in my restaurant. No. Okay, let's start this one going do that so tiramisu and banana cream this one mousse key lime that one's done so steak and gravy dog with mustard get that cereal before it goes juicy ooze milk with strawberry get that steak before it goes get that drink done oh not too bad at all fiber blast and milk. That's cooked. Steak and gravy. Uh, mousse, key lime. Get that cooking. Do the toilet. That one's done. Steak and onion gravy. Quickly get some macaroni back in there. I did the steak ahead of time. I was doing so well. Get their cereal done. So choco crisps and milk. And we'll get some more macaroni in here. Cereal juicy ooze. Milk. I can't believe I'm serving cereal at my restaurant. It's hilarious. wait for this stupid dishwasher every time we already have three perfect combos we need more corn dogs again I do wish that when it ran out that the holding station would empty itself because it, it tricks me into thinking it's all right when it's not Start the 
steak. But corn dogs done first because they're easy. Easy when you know how. Uh, Germany, 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 be cream. Mustard. Uh, cheesecake, be cream, key lime. Do their cereal and wheat. Milk, banana. Uh, triple, triple shot of bee cream, steak and M gravy, mushroom gravy I imagine. Getting into it a bit more now, so cheesecake, bee cream, key lime pie. I don't know if any of you are like this, the longer I play the better I get usually. As long as I don't get frustrated with it. Cheesecake, bee cream, key lime. Get that one going. Fiber blast. Milk. That one going. These are going to overlap each other a bit. Oh no, I did that wrong. How could I have done that? I am a terrible person. That person's cereal. Fiber blast. With milk and strawberries. Steak and gravy. Steak and gravy. Someone wants a drink. Um, tiramisu, be cream. Cereal. Cornflakes and milk. I think I've got my combo though. I don't think it really is asking me at the moment to be totally perfect but I kind of want to be more perfect I don't want to do those of bad orders I don't think I'm too bad I don't think I'm a, an expert by any means there we go so let's get some more macaroni on oh I think it's the end of the day okay 51 customers served 49 perfect orders 23 delicious orders one bad one average that was not bad at all I earned more positive buzz than negative buzz and I made a lot more money than I would have made just uh, in the normal restaurant. So that's great. Just as a chef for hire. But chef for hire is great because it gets me to learn recipes. And I wouldn't have known that I liked doing the corn dogs if I had not gone and done them in a certain restaurant. So it's, it's cool. It's very cool. But we could make a lot more money if we had uh, more complicated recipes. So the more, the better I get at it and the better I am at doing recipes and things, the, the better that's going to get. Especially if I can have more holding stations. I think you can get up to about six holding stations eventually. But by then you're doing about six recipes. It's like, oh. 11 bugs. I didn't miss any chores. Did 11 bugs, three garbage, 32 dishes. Two rats and five toilets flushed. That was pretty good. That wasn't bad at all. I got some stuff. I got some new restaurant booths. I don't even like them as good as, as well as the ones I had before. I got a 24 times combo and it only wanted me to get a five times combo as a bonus. 23 delicious orders. So I got a tire to go on the wall. Nice. Still need I still need a wall covering though. I still don't have a wall covering. So we got some of our money back, which was great from that day as well. So my restaurant at the moment, it doesn't have any stars. I don't know when you get a star. HS stats. Oh, that's good. I want those on. I want to see what I've got in um, holding stations. That would be extremely handy. Yeah. Shall we try another? We've had a day in our restaurant, so shall we try a different restaurant? Uh, where haven't we been? We haven't done any Chinese food yet, and we haven't tried Biggs' Burger. They are both chef level two restaurants, so I think. Or is it just showing that there's one I haven't done? Yes, it is. It's showing that there's one level I haven't done there. And that there's two levels I haven't done in here. Ah, I see. 
I see, I see, I see. So we can do that one with two sides and three dishes, or this one with three sides and three dishes. Looks to me like that's easier, but maybe it's uh, easier recipes on this first one. So let's have a go. We'll try some different foods. It's, you know, it's good because I can see if there's any I like for my restaurant. Uh, okay, as usual, complete eight, five or none. Gold, silver, bronze. I'm not too worried. Okay, so it looks like we use our holding stations all just for side dishes, which is fine by me. White rice, which is water, rice, seasoned lid. That one's not too bad at all. Egg rolls. So, oh, right, so just to tell it how many spring or egg rolls I want and dunk them. And broccoli, seasoning, done. So just seasoned broccoli, fine. So, sesame sauce and shrimp. Okay, so they're all on one. That's, that's pretty good if they're all on one thing, on one page. Spicy sauce and beef. But they all have to be cooked. Sweet and sour. Beef. That one done. Oh, good grief. And then I've got to put more stuff on it. Honey sauce and shrimp with snow peas. Where's snow peas? Oh yeah, they're all on yellow. Okay. That one's about to burn. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Spicy sauce and beef. Green beans. Really? And then someone is holding up my place at the same time, which means I've burned an order because someone was thieving me. Oh, well, this isn't too good, is it? I'm not impressed that I've got to cook it and then prepare it. Chinese is not easy in this. Sweet and sour shrimp. Orange peel, chicken. Spice oh, good grief. Spicy sauce and beef. I just clean the toilet, it's about the only thing I can do in this place. Sweet and sour chicken with mushrooms. This one is really hard. I don't like this one at all. Soy sauce, shrimp, red pepper. This is going to take some practice. Spicy sauce, pork. That one's nearly burns. Honey sauce, beef and onions. I don't like stuff where you've got to do a ton of stuff after it's cooked. It's like, if I'm cooking it, it should be done, okay? Uh, honey glaze and chicken. I'm not very good at timing things. Sweet and sour beef. That's about to burn. Honey sauce, pork, celery. Uh, sweet and sour chicken. That's, that's on the kitchen's on fire! I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I think I maybe need to practice this one a bit more. So honey sauce. That was so bad. Mushrooms. Some people are getting their food. I'm doing all the chores and drinks. I have no sides left at all. Spicy sauce, beef. Oh, I think I think it's more like my own um, my own mental barriers in that one than anything else. So sesame sauce, mm, no beef, green beans, spicy sauce, chicken, onion. And then I've got rush hour coming on. Oh, this is so bad. Honey glazed beef. Spicy sauce, shrimp. Spicy 
sweet and sour chicken. Honey sauce. Shrimp. Mushrooms. I was so busy being like, how dare you? How dare you give me such a hard thing to do? I have a new a new appreciation of people that work in Chinese restaurants. Uh, beef sauce. Chicken. Beef sauce. Beef. I'm not getting all of those. Honey glazed tofu. Spicy sauce. Chicken. Sweet and sour beef with broccoli. Um, orange peel tofu. Sesame sauce tofu. Spicy sauce tofu. Zucchini. Beef sauce chicken. Ah, these are actually burns. Uh, broccoli sauce. Tofu. Red pepper. Having to find stuff so much. Sweet and sour tofu. I need to know where these things are, like, straight away. I need, they need to be, like, muscle memory for me. It can't just be. Tofu. About to burn, spicy sauce, chicken, broccoli. I'm out of sides completely. I don't have time to make any more. Come on, dishwasher. Um, sesame, tofu, green bean. Well, that, that didn't go very well. That did not go very well. I only made $25 in tips and $58 in money in that one. That was really bad. Eight, eight bad orders and one average order. I actually was only one order, one bad order away from getting bronze on that. It felt probably worse than it was. But yeah, I think I need a bit more practice. Oh, level five achieved. My restaurant's upgraded. Talk of your skills as a chef have spread through Terragon Tower and your restaurant has gained more notoriety. Amazing work. Enjoy these rewards. You've earned them. Cool. I got a pizza thing to put on the wall. Oh, a wall type, finally. Picture of some cake. Oh, those are fancy. Oh, some fancy art as well. Oh, nice. Oh, and some very fancy schmancy uh, abstract wall decoration thing. <gasps> Look at those tables. Oh, wow. Funky lights. Restaurant table. <gasps> so much stuff. Sausage and sauerkraut in my pantry. Yay. Fantastic. Well, it was worth having a go at that Chinese food thing, even though we didn't really do very well. We kind of got loads of EXP for it, I guess. So at the moment, it did say that new chef for higher menu levels were open. That's probably just meaning there aren't any new ones there. There's so new ones in like e oh, there's a couple of new ones in ETs. Um there's a one new one in Max Wieners as well, we could try. There's no new ones in Chili Bowl. I would like to try Big's Burgers, see what they're like. That doesn't, that doesn't look as hard, that's just like burgers. Burgers, you just put the burger on and then you make it later. And I don't mind that and I don't mind the Salisbury steak, it's just the whole like Having to, uh, there's something about having to put two things in and cook it and then do another two or three things that seems to just break my brain. I've got no idea why. But we're gonna have a go at this before we finish the episode. So Biggs's Burgers. 
As I say, I seem to get a lot more money when I do my own restaurant, but it's nice to see all the different ways that they decorate as well. Uh, so let's see what holding station stuff we've got. So we can make chicken nuggets and hamburgers ahead of time optionally and tater tots and fries. So I'll probably do that as my... Yeah, I'll, I'll do that as my thing. Right, so we'll start with hamburgers. So we can get eight hamburgers going. And we'll get chicken nuggets going. Nugget, 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 dunk. Nugget, 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 dunk. Same with tater tots. One, two, three, four, dunk. Fries. Ah, uh, fries are a pain because you've got to do different things. French fries. Shoestring fries. Dunk. Enter. Right, good. Okay, so we've started on the burger patties and stuff. We should be able to do some stuff. So sausage, cheese, croissant. Croissant top. Oh, that's fancy. Fancy schmancy. Um, ham, egg, croissant. The meat patty. Cheese, regular bun. Oh, that was average. How was that average? I thought that was good. Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets help a lot. Chicken nuggets are great. Okay, doing all of this holding foods really helped. Um, so, two meat patties. Oh, maybe that's what I did wrong. Lettuce, tomato, pickle, fried egg, and a regular bun. Quick you toilet. Meat, one meat patty. Onion. Mush, sauteed mushroom, fried egg. Regular bun. We've got some chicken nuggets, drink to do, which we can do really quickly. Chicken nuggets there, so ham egg biscuit, ham egg biscuit, egg bacon cheese biscuit, egg bacon cheese biscuit. It's better if I can remember what it needs. So sausage, egg, cheese, biscuit. Sausage, egg, cheese, biscuit. Uh, meat patty, bacon, cheese, Swiss cheese, regular bun. That is a big burger. Three meat patties? Are you kidding me? You greedy pig. Cheese. I probably shouldn't be like judging my customers like this. Look at that burger! S mushroom regular bun. Ah, it was only average, even though you needed like a bajillion. Oh. I need to get hamburger patties back in. Let's do this drink. Right, so how egg biscuit? Sausage cheese croissant. Oh, that's burning. Ham egg biscuit. Ham egg biscuit. Okay. Oh, it's chicken nuggets. Meat patty. Bacon, cheese, Swiss cheese. Pretzel bun. That's good. That's being made. Okay, so meat patty three. Bacon one. Cheese two. Swiss cheese. Regular bun. It would really help if they didn't keep using all my stuff up. Yeah, we'll just do those nuggets on the fly and then we'll get rid of that, get rid of that, get some more chicken nuggets in. I have to get used to the fact that I need to click to get them out of the, the space. Uh, ham, egg, biscuit. Trash to be done. Get that rat out of here. Toilet clean. Doing all the chores. Uh, meat patty, bacon, onions, fried egg, regular bun. Oh my goodness, it's rush hour already. How did that happen? Haven't even got like fries or anything done. French fries. Dunk. 
enter. Right, chicken. We need chicken nuggets right now. Okay, let's get rid of that beetle. Get rid of that drink. Let's do this. So, ham egg croissant. Ham egg croissant. Done. This one. Uh, sausage egg cheese biscuit. Sausage egg cheese biscuit. Grab that one before it goes. Uh, meat patty, bacon, cheese times two, lettuce, regular bun. Grab that before it goes. Meat patty two, bacon, cheese times two, Swiss cheese, regular bun. Done. Grab, 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 grab. Done that. Uh, meat, lettuce, tomato, onion, regular bun. We are getting better at this. Chicken nuggets. Drink, 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 drink. Flush sanitize. Trash, smash, 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 Sanitize, quick, get the rat away. Okay, let's get all patties on the go. It's quicker for me to do that than it is to wait for it to cook. Uh, so sausage, egg, cheese, biscuit. I had 11 perfect combos. How on earth have I done that? Now I've got to cook the meat patty on that one. It'll give me more time though, at least. So, meat patty times two. Bacon, cheese, Swiss cheese, S onions, pretzel bun. Sometimes it's good just to give yourself to... Oh, that's finished. Okay, so meat patty, bacon, cheese, lettuce, onion, Ah, oh, I did the wrong bun. How am I cross them? Meat patty times three. Bacon, lettuce, Swiss cheese, fried egg, pretzel bun. Done. And done. We've got a lot of perfect orders there, I think. So we had four average and one bad order. Um... 26 delicious orders and 39 perfect ones for 44 customers served a combo of 15 115 tips earned. I earned more in tips than I did in money, which is crazy. I got bronze. Oh, I was only like one away from getting silver there. That wasn't too bad. And I got some more stuff for my restaurant. Yay. I think we need to go back to the decorator because we've got so much new stuff now. But we can also try this menu as well. It's not too much different. It's got, it looks like, to me, it looks like it's got chicken selects or something instead of chicken nuggets. But I definitely think we could go back through some of the other ones and see if we can get more perfect scores. Definitely. I imagine though it's going to start getting a lot harder and I'm going to start, start get, it's going to get probably funnier to be quite honest with you. Rather than me like, la la la, let's do this, let's do that, it's going to be like, Bleh! Okay, so let's design here. Let's, um, we now have a, let, actually, before we design, let's delete the whole restaurant because I find it easier to design from scratch. So just delete everything. All the tables, get rid of them all. I'm ready to get rid of the carpet apparently. Oh well. Stuck with that carpet till we get a new one. Ugh. Mm, so it's the wall accents I need really. Let's get rid of all those. Okay, let's get back to create mode. And I now actually have some walls I can use. Oh, right. Ah, so now I have the bottom and the top of the wall. Doesn't look the greatest though, does it? What the bottom of the wall do I have? Oh, come here. I worked a minute ago. So space to select. Mm. 
panels, we've got panels there, we've got Put them either side of the window or something. I don't really know. I don't really like that there. That went there by accident. Like I say, it's really easy to do things by accident in this for some reason. So delete accent. Hmm. Delete panel. Yes. I don't know why I can't just trust you to click on the thing you want to delete, but I don't know if it gets too cluttered later on, maybe. Oh, come out of it again. Oh, I do this all the time. Designer. Right, so at the moment we have a pretty scabby looking wall. I thought we had more wall designs than this. So create walls. Wall type. Backsplash. I thought we had a black backsplash. Aha, so we can choose to have that or that. I think the, the latter is better, what we had originally. Accents and panels. Honestly, I, I click on the menu, it shouldn't like place something in my opinion, but that's just me. Then I've got to go delete it. Mm. Not that I can design games. Delete panel. Delete accent. There we are. That's better. Right, let's go get some tables. Let's go get some tables. Make this place look a bit more fancy. So we've got small tables. We had different tables before. I don't understand why we've suddenly only got these tables. Why don't we have any more chairs? Oh, I had to right click to get back out of the menu. I see. So move, to get out of the booths, so I have to be Back, right click and right click. Okay, small tables, get out of there. Ah, here's all my proper tables. Got tables that look like pianos, they're amazing. Okay, now I'm learning this menu a little bit better. Let's go delete all the tables. I'm so bad at this. So, tables. Hang on. Edit. Oh, I've got to delete all, so I can actually delete everything. Why do I have so many? Oh, I have a light above every table. Right, right, right. Um, delete tables. Because I want those well fancy tables that I've got. Sorry, guys. Right, okay. Create fancy tables. These ones. That's not the fancy table. Grr. Right, uh, create seating tables. Scroll wheel. Space to select. Haha, -ha, there's my fancy tables. I have one under each window, I would say. I wish I had fancier chairs. Oh, that looks nice. 
Okay. No, right click, right click. That's all I've got in the way of decor there for the tables. However, I've got some decor for other things. Lighting. Oh, it changes the actual lighting. Okay. So we've got these lights instead. They're much nicer. Ceiling table lights. Wall lights. We don't have any wall lights at all. Objects. We don't have anything there. Counters. Oh, too many right clicks there. Came right out of the menu. Counters. Nothing there. And nothing there. Seating. Chairs. We've only got the one set of chairs, which is really annoying. Really need more chairs. I'll be excited when I have different chairs. Flooring. Hard surface. Carpet. Nothing there. Art. We've got some pictures of cake and we've got some like pizzas and stuff we can put on the wall. Probably prefer not to put pizza on the wall. However, a picture of cake might not be too bad. We've got fancy tables, picture of cake. I've got my consume banner. I don't think I'm gonna use that. I don't really like it. I don't like the fact it has a full stop after it. That's not art. That's not arty enough for me anyway. Uh, objects, windows, floors, look to art. I've got my tire, my golf ball, my radio. None of which I really like. I do have a quite like this. This is a case of where that would fit in. No, I don't think that's going to fit in this restaurant. I think it will fit once the restaurant gets a bit fancier. People, no, I think I think this is as fancy as my restaurant's gonna get right now. However, I do feel it's a big improvement on what it was. It's still still not great, but yeah, I spent ages doing that. I'll probably edit that a little bit and just show you what I've done. But anyway, that is it for today. So we are now a chef of level five with half a Michelin star. I imagine that's a Michelin star we're trying to get there. We've got half of one so far, and we've done a little bit of working in a Chinese restaurant. That went a little bit wrong, to be quite honest. I think I can do better at that. But that is it for me for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Cook, Surf, Delicious 2. If you did, please leave me a like below, and I hope to see you next time. But in the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.